we have the victory through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Bible says in Acts chapter 2 that under the determinant counsel of God, he, he raised Christ up from the dead. The Bible says, because death could not hold him. That's powerful for us today. Because our victory is in a God that has risen. And the same power that got him up from the dead is the same power that worketh within us. And so as we begin our hearts and minds to prepare to pray, understand that the song says that we have victory because of this risen king that we serve. Victory that has already been attained. And if death can't hold them, this virus can't hold them, your circumstance can't hold them, your problems can't hold them, for he is the true and living king. And he's not only the king, but he is the one who cares for us. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God. We magnify you, O oh Lord. We thank you that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. We thank you right now, God, that all that is transpiring on this land today is under your sovereign control, God. We thank you that there's no limit to your domain, that there's no limit to the jurisdiction at which you reign. For your word declares that heaven is your throne and earth is your footstool, God. We bow before the King on today. So we cast our cares before you, O oh God. We as the people of God stand in the gap for those who are able to pray for themselves. So God, we ask right now, God, that your peace saturate this land today. We pray right now, God, that you keep us in perfect peace as we keep our minds on you. We pray right now, God, that we would not be anxious for anything, but in everything, in prayer and supplication, making our requests known to you, God. We thank you, God, that you give us the peace that surpasses all understanding in the name of Jesus. God, we want to lift up all those first responders who are out there, those medical professionals, those workers, those clerks, everyone who out there that are risking their lives, risking their family lives to serve those, God. We ask right now, God, that you'll cover them in the name of Jesus. Cover these doctors who are, who are, and these medical professionals who are dealing with folks on a daily basis and are exposed to this virus, God, and they have to go back to their families and their homes, God. We ask that you cover right now, God. We ask that you cover families that have been infected and families that have been financially impacted and spiritually impacted and emotionally impacted. God, move today, oh Father God. God, in the name of Jesus, God, we're praying for everyone who's elderly, who's living in fear, and those who are living in fear and concern, God, we ask that your peace reign today, God. For your word declares that you will speak peace and it shall be so. We thank you, oh God. That you'll bless every church, every pastor that has to preach and, and deliver your gospel and have to stand before your people and still manage to deal with this new normal we have. God bless every man and woman of God that had over that had their hand over a flock. God bless them. Bless every church that's open your name. Bless every believer right now, God. In the name of Jesus, help us to be in the house covered by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, oh God. God, we're praying for restoration right now. We're praying for renewal right now, God. We're praying that you move in a mighty way in the name of Jesus. That in the midst of all this confusion and all this crisis, we'll find out where Christ is. We pray that salvation come to somebody who's lost today. We pray right now, God, for prayer requests all over the land, God. We pray that you'll meet us at our very point of need in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now. We bless you. Keep us faithful in these times. Keep us strong in these times. Keep us understanding that we serve a God who has not lost control. So build us up, oh God. Give us perseverance, oh God. Give us patience, oh God. Give us endurance, oh God. Give us staying power, oh God. Give us faith, oh God. Give us hope, oh God. We thank you. For your word declares us to be strong and courageous. Fear not. For your word declares us that, 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 that you are a light in our salvation. Whom shall we fear? Move in the mighty way of God. We celebrate you, God, because we don't wait 
for the deliverance to manifest. We praise you now. So we thank you in advance. We glorify you in advance. We have a hallelujah in advance for what you shall do. Move by your spirit, oh God. Let the church open her ears and hear what you're saying to us. Let those who don't know you understand that you're speaking to them and drawing them unto yourself. We thank you, God. We pray your protection. We pray your provision. Oh God, we pray your presence saturate us right now. We love you and we thank you, oh God, that every need shall be met and every fear shall be quenched and every tear shall be dry because of the awesome God that we serve. We thank you, oh God, and we love you. It's in the matchless name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. And thank God. Hallelujah. Oh, man. 